three, two, one. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Vicente, and today we're gonna to talk about the steps necessary to ensure you get the best deal on your car loan. But that's easy, right? Just go onto a dealership, find the car I want, negotiate for that price, and then ask the dealer or lender for a loan. R right, right? Well, remember I told you guys in my previous video, if you haven't watched it, it's linked above. Everything is negotiable down to the financing terms. And these steps are gonna ensure you get the best loan for you or the best loan out there. And I'm probably starting to sound a little bit like a broken record here when I tell you to do your homework. Homework? Not again! Every negotiation you enter, no matter what it's for, whether it be a car or in future endeavors, always have the cards stacked in your favor. The only way to do that is to do your homework. If your homework signifies that you going to this negotiation table means you're going to lose, at least you have leverage to lose the least amount you can. But the more you know, the better armed you are to go to that negotiating table. Know everything there is and come prepared. So homework is vitally important. Many manufacturers right now are offering huge incentives. 0% for 60 months, 0% for 72 months, 0% for 84 months on their vehicles. 0% is generally going to win out, but not all manufacturers are offering these incentives. Let's applaud the ones that are though, shall we? So if you can get 0% financing from the manufacturer, there's a few steps that you still want to make sure you follow. If those incentives, however, are not there, say you want a BMW currently and there isn't 0% financing out there, are you sure the 1.9% that they're offering is the best deal you can get? Or are you just making the assumption before you go on the lot? That's what we're gonna find out. For the manufacturers that are offering 0% financing terms right now, really your job is pretty simple. One, it's to know your credit. Do you even qualify for that? That's gonna be step one down below, so stick around and we'll talk through that. The other one is how much can you afford, not how much you qualify for. Never go looking for a car based on the premise of, well, how much do I qualify? An auto loan doesn't work like a mortgage. A mortgage has a typical debt to income ratio of 46%. So you can kind of start to figure out how much mortgage you'll get approved for. Do you want that loan that size? Probably not, but those are the limits. In a car, it doesn't quite work that way. Car, basically, you'll get approved uh, really up to what you make annually and sometimes more. So if you make 100 grand a year, you could probably qualify for a $100,000 loan on a car even a little bit more. Now, is that gonna mean it's a comfortable payment for you each month? Again, probably not, but you can get that. So go into this knowing what you feel comfortable affording. All right, so let's jump into those five steps. I gotta know my credit too? Oh man! Guys, finding out your credit score is not that difficult. We've all heard of Credit Karma, and that's a free app you can put on your phone and check your credit score as much as you want. Often, your credit card companies also have this ability and your banks have this ability, so you can kind of constantly see what your scores are. The one thing I'll tell you is keep in mind those scores are not always the scores that the lenders will see when approving your loan. So what you wanna do is get copies of your actual credit report. And you can do this once a year by going to annualcreditreport.com. You can pull all three reports and see what's on there. And if you guys want some tips and tricks on how to improve your credit score, and you think that's a video that you might find valuable, let me know below and we can talk about that on the next one. But know your credit score, that way you know what you're gonna qualify for. Step two is really gonna take you the longest. It's where you're gonna shop around for loan rates. Now you can easily find this on most lenders' websites or you can pick up the phone and call them. But do not solely look at your bank. There's a hundred banks out there in your area and thousands across the country. All of them can offer you an auto loan. On top of that, you have special auto lenders out there that can offer you better rates in some instances than your bank that you have a relationship with already. So talk to them, call them, go to their sites and figure it out. One caveat here, some of them are gonna require that you apply. Now you can or cannot do this. This is entirely up to you and it depends on how close you are to buying. If you are pretty close and ready to buy, then go ahead and start doing the pre-approval process with some of these lenders. With one caveat and that is try to bunch those up into a two week period. 
The reason for that is you can apply to a great many over a two week period and on your credit report, it will only affect your score as though you applied for one. If you start exceeding that two week period, it's gonna look like multiple inquiries into your credit report and it could affect your score. So try to keep it into that two week window. If you're not close, then just find out the general rates. Find out what the rate is and what the terms for that rate are. Sometimes the lenders will require you to have a certain down payment percentage or a certain loan to value. So what the value of your car is in relation to the amount you're financing to obtain that rate. If they don't and they can finance you up to 100%, then you're fine and you know that's the rate. The other aspect to look for is credit score. Do you have to have a certain credit score in order to get that rate? Back to the folks that are applying and are ready to buy now. Make sure you don't fall for your lender asking you what you want your monthly payment to be. Again, we talked about this in the previous video, but I'm gonna tell you here, it gives the lender too much of an opportunity to extend the life of your loan to meet your monthly payment requirement. Does it up your rate? Possibly. Does it add additional fees? Possibly. Does it mean you're gonna pay more long-term for this car than you would on a shorter one? Most definitely. And you don't wanna pay more for this car than you have to. Never negotiate and never do anything on the monthly payment. What's the total? Always on the total. The next step is really talking about never assume you're getting the best rate for your credit score. The reason I say this is because dealers can and often do add points to your loan. Meaning you're looking at, in some cases, a percent and a half higher than the actual loan rate for your credit score. This is a larger commission for that dealer or loan representative. And make sure it lines up with what your homework told you you should receive. And if it doesn't, ask why. There's a good chance they're trying to pull a fast one. I, 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 this one I can't stress enough, guys. When you go to a dealership and you fall in love with that car and this is the car you want and you're ready to do the financing, you've done your homework, you've done all this, you sit down, they give you the rate that you thought you'd get, the payments lining up, all the numbers are perfect, this is the car you want. And then the lender tells you they're going to give you conditional approved financing. What it means is they simply couldn't contact the lenders to verify that you got approved but they want you to take the car. A lot of times this happens late in the evening when the banks are already closed or on a weekend or some other time they can't get a hold of the lender. So what they do is they know the parameters the lender typically operates under. They assume you're gonna get approved and they let you take the car. Problem is now you've signed on the dotted line that you're accepting these conditional rules and you have possession of the car. Then when your bill comes, it's $10 higher every month. Well, why is it $10 higher? Because the dealer didn't know that certain thing that changed with the lender. And so when they tried to put you into that loan, suddenly you didn't qualify for it, whatever that reason may be. And so they had to play with the numbers and play with that loan in order to get you the financing to take that car. But you've already signed on the dotted line approving conditional financing, giving them wiggle room to play with those numbers and mess with them on your behalf. Never do it. No matter how much you love that car, don't finalize the deal until that loan has been approved. The last one guys is homework again. And I know you guys are starting to get really tired of the homework word, but it's true. You know what rates you qualify for because you know approximately your credit score, you know how much you're bringing to the table and you know how much you're paying for this car. So what should your payment be? Make sure you know that because Although we don't negotiate on payment, although we don't look for lending terms on payment, you still wanna know what you're gonna pay for each month. And if that number doesn't match up with the number that you've come up with in your math, there's a good chance something changed. Did they bump the rate without telling you? Did they add fees without telling you? Did they put something else in the contract without telling you? Don't sign if that number is different, ask why. And guys, that brings us into next week's video. Next week's video, we're gonna talk about the things to avoid when you buy your car. You know those little hidden fees the dealer likes to throw in there? Yeah, we're not gonna let them get away with that. And we're gonna arm you so you can go to the table with all the knowledge ready to take them on. And that's it guys, if you're looking for a new car or a used car and you're in the market to finance it, I hope this video helped you figure out how to make sure you get the best rate for you. 
If you like today's video, smash that thumbs up button. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below. And that little bell icon, click that too. That way you're notified the next time I upload a video. See ya.